Hi everyone. Okay, this is my first video, so be gentle. I would like to introduce myself, and I thought that the best way to do that was just tell you a little bit about myself, and then I did a photo thing on Facebook where you give 15 random things about yourself, and I thought I'd tell you those because I'm super exciting. So first, my name is Krista. I'm 38. I have three teenage boys. Um, they're 19, 17, and 15. I am married. I've been together for 21 years. I don't know. A long time. Um, live in a small town in Mississippi, originally from Ohio. We've been in Mississippi about three years. Um, and we like it. It's good. It's all good. I would like it if it were a bigger town, but we'll talk about that later. Um, second thing is I have celiac disease. That means that I am gluten-free. I plan to post a lot of cooking videos and they will be gluten-free because we are a gluten-free family. My son also has celiacs, one of them. Um, I joined Weight Watchers June 22nd of 2009. I weighed 262 pounds and I was oblivious to the fact that I weighed 262 pounds. I had no idea. Um, I mean, I knew I weighed 262 pounds, but I didn't know that I weighed 262 pounds. I um, I just had no idea. I've been fat my whole life, so it just never occurred to me to be worried about it. And then we went to back to Ohio for my son. We had a graduation party for him um, in Ohio. So that's where all our friends and a lot of our or all our family and a lot of our friends are. And on the way, I was it was just I was uncomfortable. A lot of things happened that just because of my size, I was very uncomfortable. So I told my husband that the minute we got home, I was going to join Weight Watchers. And I came home and went to the very next meeting. And I love it. I love Weight Watchers. It is the only diet that I've ever done that, that has worked for me. Um, and I plan to do it for the rest of my life. That being said, I am a very slow loser. I currently, I've lost around 65 to 70 pounds. I keep gaining and losing the same 10 pounds over and over. And I have since um, September of last year. My oldest son and I spent the summer in Europe. We went to Germany, traveled around, and I lost a lot of weight when I was there because we were walking constantly. And then when we got back, I went through this period of oh, I wasn't able to eat this while we were in Europe because of having celiac disease, we were very limited in where we could um, where we could eat and what we could do. So we mostly cooked at home. And so I went through this period of, oh, I have to have French fries four times a week because I couldn't, I couldn't have them in Germany. And we have to make funnel cakes and we have to do all these things that we never really ate before. But suddenly because I couldn't, have them for three months. I had to have them all the time. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I get really close to hitting my 75 pounds lost mark and then something will happen. And my leader and I are currently trying to figure out what it is that's happening because I eat on plan and I still am having problems. So we're going we're working on that now. We think we have some ideas and some of it is related to health issues, my health. So once we figure it out, I'll let you know. Um, so, you know, I want to lose weight because my kids and my, my life. My dad died when I was 16. He had had his first heart attack when I was four. And luckily we lived just south of Cleveland. And so he was able to see a doctor at Cleveland Clinic and they did a quadruple bypass on him when they were still perfecting the double bypass. He had a quadruple bypass in 78 or 79. And that prolonged his life by eight years, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Eight years. So if it weren't for that, he probably wouldn't have lasted a, a year or two. Now his dad died of a massive heart attack at the age of 42 when my dad was six years old. I never met him, obviously. Um, my dad had his first heart attack when he was 42. 42 is sort of the magic number. I'm 38, 
So, um, you know, I was the healthiest fat person I knew. My cholesterol was great. My doctor was shocked when he got my cholesterol results back. My blood pressure was great, but I don't, I don't want to take the chance. So that's why I'm trying to get healthy, lose weight. So enough about that. Let's move on to the exciting questions. I have a cheat sheet. Um, the first thing is I love my life. I love my life. I could not ask for a better life. Sure, there are some things that I would like to change because I think if you if you don't try to change, you become stagnant and you die. And who wants that? Who I I I the world is evolving so fast that I feel like we need to change with it. And I but I, I love my life. I wouldn't trade places with anyone. Um I, celiac disease. I was diagnosed a year and a half ago, um, but I've most likely had it um, since I was a baby. I've had a lot of problems my whole life, and I was diagnosed with 43,000 other things, and once we figured out I was celiac and we went gluten-free, everything went away. So um, the day that I was diagnosed with, with celiac disease, the next day we went gluten-free. And I have not looked back since. Number three is I love food. I love food. I love all food. I love good food. I love bad food. I love junk food. I love... I I could very easily sit down to a four-star meal. I could very easily sit down to a bowl of hamburger helper. And it doesn't matter. I'll overeat it. I eat for the sake of eating sometimes. Um, one thing I didn't mention before, I married a chef. Hello, the fat person stream. Married a chef. Father-in-law is a chef. My brother was a chef. So you can imagine what family get-togethers were like. Um, we are a family that cooks. We are a family that eats. That's I just I love food. It literally pays my bills. So I love food. Um, I have three boys. I love my boys. I wouldn't know what to do if I had girls. I like rolling around in the mud. I like playing in the dirt. They having frogs in the house. I loved it all when they were little. Now we have skateboards, guitars, and of course, I know that you can have that with girls, but I love my boys, and I'm glad that they were all three boys. I, everyone asks, so that's why I'm telling you. I have three nieces, though, and I do love girly time with my nieces. Um, when we get back to Ohio, we do manicures and pedicures and makeup and hair, and we I love girly time with them. Um... The next thing is I would, right now, if given the choice, sell everything that I own and move to Switzerland. I love Switzerland. It is a beautiful country. I um, didn't want to leave. I have a particular village in Switzerland that I love, but I would go anywhere in Switzerland. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful country and some of the nicest people in the world. I just loved it. Um, I recommend that you go at least once if you can. Uh, oh, my next favorite is my other favorite place is Amish country in Ohio. My mom's family is from Amish country. They were Amish generations back, um, which just really means Swiss. Um, but they were Amish. And my great grandma lived in Amish country when I was growing up. And we would frequently visit. And I actually lived there for two years, I think, in a town called Millersburg. And I love it. I love going down there. Every time we're in Ohio, we go back. Everyone else hates it. I make everyone go. You can get cheese. What could be wrong with that? You can cheese and good food. So I love Amish country. Um, let's see. Oh, um, you know, I had my kids really young, and I'm glad I did because I'm too old to have toddlers. I don't know how you people do it. I applaud you because I... I my nieces, I love them to death, but they exhaust me. And they are eight, seven, and six. So, or five, eight, seven, and five. So, they exhaust me. Um, I, my next one, I'm not bothered by gore. I could have very easily been a homicide detective. I could work in the coroner's office. I, it doesn't bother me as long as it's not someone that I know. If it's someone I know, then it's kind of questionable. But I, it doesn't bother me at all. Don't burp near me though, because that's gross, and I will freak out. It's gross. Don't just don't do it. Don't do it. It creeps me out. Okay, my next thing. I'm a feeder. I feed people. That's what I do. I love food. I feed people. Um, I feed people I like. I feed people I don't like. I feed people. That's what I do. 
Um, let's see. Oh, um, you know, the next one is I just, I try to surround myself with positive, strong, uplifting women who I try to learn from. That's um, what I try to do because I feel like no matter how good you are, there's always people out there that can teach you and hopefully I'm going to teach someone something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, oh, I've never been a pet person. Never understood people that were pet people. And when we got back from Germany, we got a Shih Tzu, and then we got another Shih Tzu, and now I don't know how we lived without him. I don't know. Um, almost done. I love to travel. I will travel anywhere for any reason. Just let me know, and I'll be there. And my last thing is, my favorite color is red because it's fiery and saucy at the same time. And when I posted that on Facebook, I was told that that describes me perfectly. So we'll see. Um... That's it. I will hopefully do, um, there's a video tag going around about 10 things that you can't wait to do until you uh, lose weight. I Hopefully I'll get that done today. And I would like to make a cooking video or two today. So we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.